and queen, thank you so much for being mm -hmm. here. As you know, I'm always saying marketing is the most important skill to have, especially right now. So I have an amazing Eva Hill, who's a brand and marketing strategist, okay. and she's definitely changing the game right now on making sure people can stand out visually and elevate themselves to a higher level. So you want to love this conversation. Eva, thank you so much for being here. How are you doing? Yeah, thank you so much for having me. It's exciting. Yeah, I'm doing all right. How about you? I'm good, you know, minus the whole quarantine thing, I'm pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, <laughs> uh, you know, everybody's, you can work online exactly what you did before, so nothing changing. Probably busier than ever before. Yeah, definitely, like, marketing <laughs> is definitely a time of super busy, crazy changes nowadays. Back in the day, marketing was billboards and stuff, now it's on or not online just advertising so super super competitive and busy now so it's a lot of fun how about you how are your marketing endeavors coming from your side so for me because uh before i was personal branding photographer now i'm shifting everything online uh but in a way uh similar way that i was helping to my clients before i was helping them to create content visually and now uh, I see that they are struggling a lot with the content creation. I have so many ideas. I know what's working. So this is what I'm, I still can help them to do this uh, content creation, even visually, mm -hmm. you know, videos, uh, even images, uh, create them how to do and, um, you know, like edit somehow that works for content. Uh, and, um, yeah, what, what kind of captions to write? So all these, you know things people are struggling and how to build their authority with the content and that's bring huge. give the value yeah that's super i'm huge. sure you're doing similar <laughs> oh yeah branding is probably one of the most fundamental parts of marketing you know like True. give you a marketing which is the whole micro macro level we have marketing which is the micro level so branding is what holds it all together helps everybody you know stand out from the crowd and people come to them. So it's super, super yeah. powerful. What got you into doing marketing and branding? What inspired you to go that route? Well, that's a good question. Now I started when uh, I was started to think about marketing when I built my other businesses. Uh, I, I moved to UK, I think like over 10 years ago and um, I lost the count. <laughs> but I have my businesses, I have my photography businesses i have like uh, like baking businesses i create the website i create the logo <clears throat> no, nothing happening like you see it's, it doesn't work mm -hmm. so i realized that personal i find like one long post online about personal branding and it was like oh okay it's not only personal branding and branding but marketing okay so then i realized i have to think about uh, marketing and the marketing is not only the thing as a marketing, uh, but connection between people, have conversation. And that's happening online because especially now people are going online. Yeah, especially <laughs> and, now. Yeah, especially now, exactly. So yeah, that's how I started with my uh, interest into marketing. And then I see that, I saw that you can put a lot of creativity into that uh and it's not boring it's not like we were taught ta uh, taught before mm -hmm. now you know like university it's like oh gosh it's like marketing it's like no no nobody wants to do that <laughs> you can be creative and it's actually when you're gonna be different that's the thing you have to be different to attract oh, yeah. more audience uh, be, be loud be different be yourself Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, and then I started to do the courses, trainings, to see how it's working and all the trainer, trainer uh, uh, courses were different, how people different, uh, teaching different things, how to connect in person and then online, you know, like all these things uh, matching up and I really love it. Yeah. How yeah. about you? Um, kind of similar, like, first I'm going to say you was so spot on about marketing being, like, creativity. Because back in the day, marketing was just billboards and advertising. But now, you have <laughs> to be authentic. You have to stand out from the crowd and have, like, content marketing. So even now, I just made a post 
talking about the four ways to people engage with you more. You have to inspire yeah. them. You have to empower them, educate them, and engage with yeah. them. This is yeah. the four pillars of marketing, and it's super, super crucial, like you were saying, to make a big difference in the marketing. And then for myself, I started about nine years ago professionally doing marketing. My mom、mm. had a restaurant in Kansas, and we took it over, making like a hundred dollars a day. And I started doing marketing for us. After the first month. We're making over five thousand dollars a day, so we had a five thousand percent increase in profit margins within the first month. Wow! So like, yeah, marketing is really, really powerful. So I kind of、yeah. fell in love with marketing then. And about five, six years ago, I started a business helping artists make passive income by putting their album on T-shirts. Now let's market for them and get them ninety percent of the commissions of each thing sold. So I learned、mm-hmm. marketing was super, super powerful. Then I started writing books, doing personal marketing. Now, yeah, 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 like my life. That's all I do. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> you have, you have, you are an author. Like your, your own, uh, you have your own authority because you have books.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> so somehow people,、uh, when you have book. They have different, like in, in a good way, very good opinion about you because、mm-hmm. you are a leader. They're gonna follow you. But actually, in any way, if it's like written or any or like video content, it's fine. And、uh, when it's、um, when it's done continuously, is you know like、uh, you put it out yourself out there all the time.、Uh, You can bring your authority up, you know, like、mm-hmm. whatever you do. It's not only the books, but the books is something、yeah. about them. <laughs> I just read another article, like I know about all those things, but like, yeah, everybody all about books, you know. Of course, you know, you need to know not only how to create the book, how to write the book, but how to market them later.、Yeah. <laughs> you know, for you it's okay because you are doing the marketing, but for other people it's like a bit different. Mm-hmm. Have you got any tips? Actually, just the sign up. Maybe somebody writing the books. Have you got any tips? Because I know somebody who writing a book and the person has no idea how、mm-hmm. to advertise himself. Yeah. So for writing books, there's <laughs> so much that goes into it. Obviously, it's writing the book and getting it out to the public place. But what people who For so for marketing the book is they start too late. This would be like a six month marketing plan. I know.、Uh, yeah, I keep telling them.、Mm-hmm. So what do you mean? Yeah. So like, what do you mean? Me, you have to.、Mm-hmm. Yes,、yeah, like my first book, I didn't really market that much about my first book. I was just going as I was writing it, and I published it, and I started marketing for it. They really good. I know marketing, but most people don't know marketing. So what I would do for them, I would release. A chapter at a time, six months ago, and then have little pieces of the book, or do a public reading of what you have so far. Let people see your book cover and everything else. That way, they feel a part of the experience. The best way to market your book is to make sure your audience feels、like、a part of the experience and like、yeah. actually involved with it. When the time the book releases,、sure. you can even do a pre-sale. Hey, my book will be released in the next two months. We're gonna buy、yeah. copies now for a special discount. Now we sell before these, you do it. <laughs> exactly,、yeah. sell before you do、yeah. it. That way you have it already there in place for you. And then when you have to release it, you have a huge following of people who already know about your book, who've been waiting for your book, who told their friends about your book as well. It's gonna be huge for you. And big builds like excitement, you know,、mm-hmm. like oh, it's like who's <clears> gonna be the first one, you know, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's、uh, not a lot of people understand. You know, it's hard work because the 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 thing of the writing the book, writing of the book is like consuming consuming a lot of energy.、Mm-hmm. So you have to work something like extra. It's like oh, I can't imagine. <laughs> it's like a lot of work. Yeah, it so, is. I get yeah. them as well.、Mm-hmm. And like, don't kill me here, but like writing the book is the easy part. It's the marking is the hard part. Yeah. Cause when you think about it, yeah, 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 true. Cause when you write a book, it's just you and your keyboard, or you and your notebook. You can just put your thoughts onto the page and make it look、yeah. concise. 
there's, there, there's no like other validation coming back and forth. It's just you and your book. So that's the easy part. But getting out to the public place and people to see it, True. read it, and engage and share it, that's the part that actually is the whole point of a book in the first place, to be seen yeah. by other people. Yeah, connecting and bring you, bringing your, yourself out there is the most, um, you know, if you don't, you're not used to be outside when people see you a lot, you know, like, that's why you're writing. Some of the people, that's why you bring all the ideas and, and on the paper, mm -hmm. because you don't want to be seen as much, you know, <laughs> but this is exactly what you have to do, overcome your fears. Exactly. And be, and be um, the one, like a leader, become a leader or something in a way. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, true. And like you were saying, it's all about putting stuff out there as like, much as possible. And for you, you probably know all about that since you are a brand photographer. And what does that look like exactly? How do you help people put stuff out there to be seen by more people? Yeah, and it wasn't easy. <laughs> you know, for them, it's um tr we worked before really hard you know like meeting together not only it's like okay take pictures like branding all the parts storytelling uh to understand what they're gonna bring uh to to the audience you know what kind of stories they're gonna tell but that part they have to bring themselves um you know for other people to see mm -hmm. and uh, like oh i'm not a model i'm i have this i am not ready and like oh come on all fine just do it and you're gonna see all fine and like <laughs> uh, okay <laughs> oh, but it was really really hard and i did my session my own personal branding session um because I need it for my branding and I believe, 100% believe in personal branding photography or like anything visual because that's the way people are gonna see your content the first. You know, like either videos, but still videos is the second because you still need to engage, use something to engage, mm -hmm. you know, um, like a picture or the words or something. Yeah, like opt-in. Um, and then you're gonna watch all the video but uh so i did my session and like yeah it's like when you do it yourself everything uh you know it's really really hard to plan everything and do and this and that because what i'm helping them to my clients they can i create the content for them i did the biggest part they have makeup artists they have everyone you know and mm -hmm. i'm helping with everything it's just like be in front and feel good like celebrate your day it's all about you and one, one of my clients carolyn said like after the session like oh gosh this is so nice i really enjoyed i really she was really worried before uh but then like, she really enjoyed and she said like it was a day all about me and i was the center of everything and i love it <laughs> so, <laughs> that sounds nice it's amazing. <laughs> yeah what do you and think? Uh, huh? yeah, carry on. <laughs> I was like, what do you think was the hardest like roadblock that you face or most people face trying to brand themselves and put themselves out there? Uh, what you what exactly? So you like, mean? what is like the biggest roadblock or hurdle that most people face or trying to brand themselves or take pictures of themselves and put themselves out into the marketplace? Have you seen all you uh yourself? yeah so who i am to be in front of people you know like i'm nothing i mean why are you supposed to be in front of people mm. you know who is gonna listen to me i'm not a mo you know i mean they're like not thinking that they are supposed to be in front of others and anybody gonna see the images as something important and uh yeah so that's one another one they don't feel right in their bodies um you know like i need to lose weight i need to um yeah well i i'm not ready it's just that's just that later yeah. after half a year and then after a year and there's still nothing happening i'm gonna do someday you know like but this is the most important part and now 
you cannot even I cannot even work with them. So I mean in person. So I have this idea. I can create images, like guide them how to create images. You know, life. You know, like coaching, where mm -hmm. to stand, what kind of lights, you know, to front, uh, or even like videos as well. When they, when they have like uh, webinars or something like that, you have to be aware of the light. That's the most important thing. And then mm -hmm. the camera angle. My camera probably is not the not really the, the best way, but you know, like other people, some many you have like this way and you see yeah. exposing the neck. And this is not the right way to expose because eyes has to be the center. Well, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not, as I said, it's not ideal this time for me as well. And, uh, you know, so many things and also what kind of images. So it's not ideal to do that, but you still need to be, it's still better than selfies when you can yeah. see the hands, you know, holding and uh, something as well can give the uh, like storytelling, you know, uh, even when I'm going to be guiding them to do the pictures in that way. So, you know, like I'm trying to figure out uh, together with a story selling, storytelling system that is like branding, all they're going together with them, what to post, uh, what kind of stories. Together, I can give them the guidance of the... Uh, photography they can do themselves mm. but with my guidance you know and then I'm gonna edit them do this um, put it all together like uh, what's gonna be working for example LinkedIn uh, or Facebook group banners or something like that uh, what's working what's not you know like yeah. you know all these things because I know it's not easy to especially if you're a new business going online it's not easy to know you know what I have to post, or like, uh, or like, what kind of image to put, like, uh, how to look professional, especially mm -hmm. now. And they need businesses; they need other people to work with. So, oh, so my question is for you: Did you have more more people coming for you, to, requesting to start the business online? Oh yeah, definitely. Like from zero. Mm -hmm. What yeah. would you advise to do them first? Like, what is the main mistake they do or what they're asking for? Yeah, so the main, I won't call it a mistake, the main, like, pitfall I see people face mm. is not knowing who the niche is or target audience. A lot of yeah. people with startup businesses, like, my main clientele is real estate, so, like, realtors, investors, and so forth. Mm -hmm. And most realtors believe that Everybody is the clientele. The client, yeah. Yeah, but it's not the case. Like, you want to nail it down. It's like, I want somebody who's 30 to 50, male yeah. or female, wants them <laughs> to be at this job, wants them to do this kind of problem. I'm going to help them solve these problems. And by doing this, we can really nail it down who we're talking to. And we're not wasting our time or the person's time. That's the biggest yeah. thing. Is a lot of people are not narrowing down who they are and what they're trying to talk to. And the best way to do this, I have a whole video about this as well, but mm -hmm. super quick, the best way to do this is ask yourself the questions like, what problems did you face before in your own past that you overcame? And you have other people who or in your childhood. Them. Yeah, or your childhood. I mean, and, like how you, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Like for me, I was homeless off and on from... 12 to 18. So real estate is super impactful to me. So I love real yeah. estate because of that. So I know that's my ideal client because I love real estate already. So for somebody else, I have the same question. Like, what are you good at doing? What do you love to do? And what can you help somebody else overcome? What problem can you solve for them? Because at the end of the day, marketing is all about the other person. It's not about yeah. that at all. It's about being of well, service and solving somebody's issue. It's another way, it's like, if, if talking about the personalities, you know, like, if you like to work with somebody, you kind of mm -hmm. have to be similar to them. Yeah. Because if you're going to be working close and you don't like what that person do, you know, in the way, I don't know what could be. You hate dogs, for example. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like, that person's all about dogs. I mean, just yeah. not 
actually connected with the business, like, uh, you know, but you have to have the same values and something that connects you and this thesis way to work together. Exactly. Because, you know, it's not automated. It's like custom work with each client and mm -hmm. you have to find the right, like, wording and, uh, you know, have to connect. That's part of personal branding. You have to connect not only with... Uh, uh, you know, audience on written co con content, but like the one you're gonna be working uh, one to one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it exactly. depends on business, of course, but still. Yeah, and that is why it's so imperative to niche down and know you're talking eyes. That way, you can say no to somebody. If someone comes your way, and you know they're not a good fit. They don't know we all work good together because X, Y, and Z. That way, you have it so you can know. This is my client I'm working for. These people I cannot work for, but you can have like a business alliance with somebody else. Maybe you have a friend who's a marketer who has the same services, but they are good that kind of person. That we can send them that way. Yeah. And that's why another thing, as I see a lot, you do a lot, and me, I do not a lot at the moment, <laughs> but bringing those images and content for yourself so you can easily attract similar minded people all the mm -hmm. way you can connect you know and uh, they see who are you as a person yeah you know yeah and this is great super huge and then another benefit of you know adding your pictures to what you're talking about like for me i talk about marketing entrepreneurship becoming my best selves and my picture is always there when people see marketing they see jordan super so it's kind of because they remember life. your face mm -hmm. and like oh that that person must know a lot because it's always out there consistently yeah. and giving value so you're not giving you're not only showing yourself but you're giving value telling a story about yourself and of course you have the content underneath so mm -hmm. that's very very helpful and a lot of videos you do <laughs> as well i try to do this once a week and it's a lot of fun. And my favorite thing about videos is doing these kind of like now, like having amazing people talk with me about what they're doing, especially other marketers, because marketing like you said before is so massive, it's really easy to have a thousand different viewpoints on the same topic and have a huge and pound effect on other people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, right and now, there are and there's so many different marketers who like are doing different things. There is like chatbots, email marketing, uh, content, organic content creation, uh, and still like different platforms, uh, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, mm -hmm. and gosh. <laughs> and then like even on one platform, you have something that's your different strategies, you know, like the, the person, like so many and when you talk with another other person who is doing something for marketing is completely like different mm -hmm. you know and it's amazing yeah how yeah. many ways can be done you know like in like yeah <laughs> it's insane this I mean, is great i mean this article there's 153 different kinds of marketing out there just <laughs> I, yeah i but think like, it's much more oh it has to be you think about you said before that linkedin you got facebook you got twitter you got all different platforms that yeah. alone adds an extra hundred per one for each platform is different yeah so true and i'm just not learning linkedin like as an extra mm -hmm. because i connect with another person who taught me different linkedin LinkedIn-ing, <laughs> you know what I mean, how to do on LinkedIn, but in a different way, more creative. As I thought before, LinkedIn is just a boring place, you know, like nothing, you don't want, it's boring. Like you mm -hmm. cannot use a lot of creativity. And the person like talked about that in a different way. And it's mm -hmm. like, wow, that's nice. Cause I like to be, to see everything in a creative way. And I thought yeah. you cannot, cannot be creative. But you can, especially now. Mm -hmm, especially I mean, now. I mean, it doesn't really matter where. Just be yourself and be creative or ask help or leverage, you know, like uh, your business and it will work for anybody. Mm -hmm. Speaking of that, like right now, this whole pandemic is going on. What platform do you think is the best for someone to use 
just starting off their own business right now, trying to start a business? So it's funny how I would say because I am, I was on Facebook when I, when it just started like ten years ago, I think. And uh, but big, and I love Facebook. Uh, but the thing is that there are so many people there on Facebook. So much going on. Uh, you have to create a lot of content. You have to do it a lot of work uh, mm -hmm. to get someone's attention. But okay, you can still leverage because it's not the content as the main thing. Of course, that's the first step. You have to connect with people. Yeah. I have the plan how to connect with people and then convert the sales, but not in a salesy way. Mm -hmm. But if you're just starting, um, I think, well, it's my opinion. I don't know. It's still possible in any way. But LinkedIn, maybe it's a good idea because people are coming, uh, you know, they're thinking about business. If they just knew, they think, oh, this is the place where all professionals coming. So I will see maybe somebody help me, you know, mm -hmm. to do better maybe i can work with somebody i mean more professional people and uh, still need to know how to do and to show that you're professional yeah uh, uh it's a lot it's not necessarily a lot of work but you still need to bring some content or something before but linkedin is probably the fastest to get clients but other people could say like it's not true <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe linkedin maybe this and that uh, I'm only thinking because it's less people, more less saturated than Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. So, and uh, probably that because it's my new interest for now. <laughs> nice. What do you think? What's the, what is your opinion? Which platform is the best way to go? I mean, like Facebook and Instagram, there's so many possibilities and mm -hmm. so many strategies. On LinkedIn, like probably not that many. So. It could work in any way. Any platform could work. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm kind of biased because I love Facebook and YouTube more than other platforms. Yeah, face Yeah, YouTube. Yeah. But I do think it really heavily relies on the person doing it. Like, if I'm a model and I want to have pictures of myself and blow up from that way, Instagram is my favorite thing to use. Or yeah. Like Pinterest depends on the business, right? Yeah, but if I'm like a marketer like you and I, LinkedIn all the way. Because LinkedIn is all about business. That's what they're there for. And now, yeah, that's <laughs> in America alone, I think there's 17 million jobs that have been lost because of the outbreak. So that means there's 17 million people on LinkedIn right looking now, or at least around, are looking for a job, looking for a way to make more money, or we have a business. And they need marketing to make more money. So it really depends on the person and the business, which is why yeah. it's so important to know who your niche is and what you're doing. That's so true, yeah. But like if somebody like Baker, she would not go to on LinkedIn, probably. <laughs> depends. Yeah. If that's like business to business, you know, like and it's not working now because people are working from home, you know. Mm -hmm. So Facebook and Instagram is the best way to advertise, you know, like groups, uh, images, visuals, you know, like, yeah, it really depends on, on the business. And yeah. we are uh, working with other businesses mostly, so. Mm -hmm. For myself, like the biggest thing I went through, I messed up on was trying to do too much at one time. I was doing a mm. podcast. I was doing Facebook, LinkedIn, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, like oh. every platform out there I was trying to be on it, which is the worst thing, not the worst thing, but it's really bad to do because you focus on two or three platforms and make at least five figures from one of the platforms and then add more platforms to it. But until then, you just focus on that one platform, nurture that yeah. audience and have a good community there, be a leader like you were saying. Did you like, how did you create content? Did you create one and then repurpose or you create for a several separate platform, different content? So it kind of depends on my work week. Right now I'm super busy because the whole pandemic's going on. I have more clients trying to need more yeah. hands on work. But I would normally make content just for Facebook, 
and YouTube. And I will repurpose、mm. that. I will sell it to my Instagram account and my LinkedIn account. I use those four platforms. Now, mostly use Facebook and YouTube. And you can is that the same?、Huh? Mm-hmm. Is that the same content? You create one and then repurpose, or you create separate like content, completely separate. So it's, it's normally the same content, but here's a trick that most people don't use enough. Is you can just right now, this one video we made together in the next forty minutes could be a hundred different pieces of content. You can cut、mm-hmm. off one minute at a time, forty different times, or one phrase a couple of times. Now we can repurpose that content for a long time.、Mm-hmm. So this one video could last you and I two weeks of content going forward. Yeah, yeah. So it really, really depends on how you want to structure it and what you want to say. For me, I do a lot of writing, so I have huge articles、mm-hmm. that I write and snippet that and make it just for LinkedIn or just for Instagram. And that way,、yeah. it's a little different, so you can go to every platform see something not the same as the other one was. And that is relevant to that platform.、Mm-hmm. You know, re- you repurpose and make the relevance because. Not everything gonna work for each platform. Like yeah,、uh, even content. If you write a blog, you can repurpose the blog for all different platforms. But like, okay, Facebook likes storytelling. You can put long posts on、mm-hmm. LinkedIn. No, the、yeah. post has to be short and like you know consumed very quickly. So、yeah. like. Very good, like copy.、Um, mm-hmm. I would say very good he-、uh, header or something like that, because people don't usually have time, and this is not supp- not created for that.、Uh, Instagram as well. You have to consider it on the image uh, and um, storytelling. Yes, but not as much as on Facebook.、Mm-hmm. So on YouTube, you have it's. Yeah, the video you can repurpose, as you said. You can cut the blocks and、uh, have the very good header. That's、mm-hmm. the most important thing. And then the description. You know, you can tell more about that. <laughs> yeah, like you say, for、okay. YouTube, you can literally have a thirty-minute video be repurposed three hundred times if you really wanted to. It could be one-minute sections or a three-minute section. The most powerful thing you said. Doing that thing, but for YouTube, a lot of YouTube stuff is the algorithm. You have to make sure you have good keywords, good copy, yeah, yeah. good everything, so people can see organically. But you can still repurpose that content of other platforms. And what、yeah. I like to do to kind of like make sure I can use the same content over and over again is I have the end in mind. I'm always thinking about、mm. can I make this piece of content good for every platform. I have a good picture. It's good for Instagram and Facebook. I have a good video. It's good for good. all platforms. I have a good copy already in the main part of the thing. It's good for all platforms. For me, I'm always trying to make sure I can use it on every platform I want to. Just minor changes to it.、Mm-hmm. On top so you don't need that, to change a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Save you some、mm. time. And then on top yeah, of that,、exactly. I will even stagger how I post. So maybe on Monday I post something for Facebook and YouTube, but on Tuesday I will sell that same post to Instagram and LinkedIn. That way they're、mm-hmm. staggered to and people see at different times. Maybe someone missed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, and、uh, a little bit like slight changes. How about another thing that、um, different platforms doesn't like the same content? So you change. You have to change quite a lot of、mm-hmm. the text.、I、yeah. Have you okay? Yeah, exactly. And that's why I I think attraction marketing is probably the most powerful thing to learn right now. Because attraction、yeah. marketing is just content marketing, and that way when you're making these content for different platforms, you already know how to structure it and change it so it works for that platform. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like LinkedIn, you said before, is super, super short compared to Facebook. So you make a Facebook post that's like three thousand characters long. Yeah. But you only have a thousand characters on LinkedIn. You can kind of take off the middle of it, have the main parts of that Facebook post, change the header a little bit, change the few、yeah. taglines, and add LinkedIn. And that way, it's good for all platforms. 
Yeah, or just like take the pieces of the same one text and then have several posts. Mm -hmm. Because I think you kind of need to post like three times a day on LinkedIn if you want to be. I mean, it really depends on the business. Mm -hmm. uh, like I wasn't even posting anything before and I got clients. <laughs> so we never know. But, you know, you see, that's why because I have professional images. Mm -hmm. um, people see how you look in real life, not the glamour style photography, but you know, personal branding where yeah. you are the real person. Yeah. You know, and uh, that's how they connect with you. So that's why I can tell the photography and not, not uh, glamour, not like uh, airbrush skin when you look so beautified. It doesn't <laughs> work that way. You need to be the real person, real yeah, personality. Think. Yeah, be authentic as well. What's so, the thing you wish you had known 10 years ago when you first started off about marketing and branding and entrepreneurship that you wish you knew now, that you know now? Say again? What's the biggest thing you wish you had known oh. about marketing and entrepreneurship and the whole branding starting off that you think other people should probably know as well? Uh, yeah, first <clears throat> of all, you just, I mean, the 10 years ago, as well, everything was different. True. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to, like, it was so different. Uh, there wasn't any social media, but in the terms that what I would do, yeah, I just do, oh yeah, I think the most important thing, do not follow other people, like, mm. copy them. Like, oh, I'm not the same, you know, like, that person is doing this, uh, you following him like you want to be the same you want to become like one uh, Because you think that person is the authority and if you're gonna do the same you're gonna be The person who everybody gonna listen. No, mm -hmm. you just bring the content uh, Because another thing what's happening when you're following others and trying to be the same you feel What's the word for that? You're not feeling good enough for anything you think like Yes, and you think that's like, oh, I can't do that because I, it doesn't look like I want it to. Or if you have something in your head like, oh, should if that video, if I can do video like this, that's how it's going to work. But you know, when you're starting uh, the video, the content, it's not how you imagine. Uh, mm -hmm. That's not how you're expecting to be. And you stop. So that's why... It's not to copy, but be inspired with something and try not to, co you know, copy the same. Just be yourself. And if you have any, like, just help people naturally, mm -hmm. you know, like you have to be uh, thinking about others, how you can help in, in a very honest way. And this is, that's going to be the, the best way to, to help others, you know, not overthink. So for me, it's the biggest problem. <laughs> Do not overthink. I'm consuming a lot of information. Oh, I can do that. I can do that. And then I have that image in my eyes. That's how it's supposed to be. Mm. But then like, well, it's not going to be exactly because I am, I am me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's all about. It's about your personal brand. Mm -hmm. Be yourself. Learning, learning from the same mistakes that, you know, like you're teaching others, but you have the same things that's going on with you. Like mm -hmm. you still it's better to see from the side you know <laughs> yeah that's it. how about you um for myself i was how i known more that one social media is about being social it's all about the other people in the day like yeah if you have your it's own... not social distancing <laughs> exactly. to be social but keep the distance in a physical way yeah but mm -hmm. keep keep being social yeah, mm -hmm. keeping yourself as possible to engage with other people more than your own stuff. But in the day, people kill the most about themselves. So we make content is to be tailored around your audience, about what they want, what they can use for more value. And then the other thing I would do too is to engage more with people. If you have a business, myself, I made content for two years. It made many, but now I make way more money in a matter of days than I did back then in the whole year because I'm trying to book sales calls more than anything. 
mm-hmm. marketing, a lot of marketing you think it is content, brand, attraction. But the big part of marketing is yeah. how the conversation start. So exactly. Mm-hmm. That's how you bring people. They're gonna like you with the content. They know you yeah. and you connect and then trust you, make a sale. Mm-hmm. No like and trust. <laughs> exactly. That's the biggest thing. Like most people I know like I have no clients. Well, how do you talk to somebody? Have you had a sales call? Oh no, well that's why people won't just buy from you just from your Facebook post. It happens, yes. But it's way more likely if you talk to them one on one in the messages or in a phone call or Zoom call, they can get that sale actually happen. So for me, I focus mostly on booking sales calls more than anything else. Content is my like opt-in as a pipeline to make that happen, add value to people. So mm-hmm. I think for me the biggest thing to focus on was I was already known starting off was just do as much engaging and sales calls as possible. Yeah. So to wanna give on on the call when you spoke with others, don't try to sell, just give the value as well. You yeah. know, like because they're like, oh that's so good, you know. Uh, you're gonna feel like someone cares about you, you want to help, and mm-hmm. then like tell what you do, and uh, in that way, they're like, if they really, in, I mean, you build a trust that way because you're giving the value and you build a trust. And when they hear what you do, maybe they're gonna look online what exactly you do and how you can help them, so it's naturally gonna be like, uh, they want to work with you and solve their problem. Yeah, exactly. And it's not for free, so that's good because <laughs> you know. Oh well, it's really the best. Oh, another question, like for you, how did you deal, or have you got many, a lot of people who are asking to trade or like have something like, for free? Did you yeah. have a lot of kind of people? <laughs> yeah, I did. How you deal with that? <laughs> Especially you know when you do business online, it's like oh, you can haggle, <laughs> like yeah, mm-hmm. no. <laughs> So that is a really good question. I actually asked my friends the same question a couple of days ago because like I can say four people have the scarcity mindset right now. And the biggest way to like stop that is that you know like, hey, I will send them a questionnaire if they mm-hmm. ask for my services. And one of the yeah. questions on there is how much do you want to spend or looking to spend on marketing? And what problem mm-hmm. do you want to solve in marketing? That way they already know the phone call they have with me or the engagement they have with me is going to be structured around business. Like you said before, yeah. it's about offering value. There's no favors in business. It's a win-win. And you and I are super fortunate to be marketers because marketing is all about helping people make more money. So if I can make someone $100,000 and they pay me $5,000 for marketing, I just 20 times the income. So to them, it's a win-win kind of thing. So people often yeah, ask you, solve the problem. Exactly. And you solve the problem. So people ask you for free stuff, there's two ways you can handle it, for me at least. There's one, getting the question nail, saying what they want to expect from this phone call so you don't waste no one's time, especially their time. And then mm-hmm. two, it's like, hey, I would love to you know, give you free stuff, but I know when you do that, People don't value it as much. If someone gave me a free course, True. I won't do it because like I didn't pay for it. No, like de- no value. Yeah, yeah. But if I because you need really want this, like mm-hmm. that's why you pay the money. Yeah, and exactly. you understand the value. If you're not paying this, you're getting for free. That means you're not valuing that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What about if you connect with somebody like on on the like? On the messages, did you send the questionnaire right away if they want to speak with you? Yeah, so if they want to talk to me, like, hey, I want to hop on a sales call, or hop on a phone call with you, or hey, I need marketing services. Okay, sound good. So I don't waste your time. Here's this quick questionnaire for you. Let me know mm. if you're done, and then we can hop on a phone call. That way I can know what you need the most and serve you the best. Yeah, and prepare before. Yeah, and prepare yeah, for it. exactly. Because a yeah. lot of people will just chatty, 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 and they're like, oh, you just helped me. Like, can you do this and that? <laughs> mm-hmm, exactly. And, like, and it doesn't talk- feel like business. Yeah, it doesn't feel like business. And then you might get resentful because you did that to them. Like, for me, I charge 
three hundred dollars just for one session with me, uh, an, an hour, a talk.、Mm-hmm. So if I was to talk to somebody for a whole hour and they want my services, I just gave them a whole free session, and it's supposed to be a sales call. So for communication,、yeah. you should always know if it's a sales call or a conversation. That way, you can know how to structure your conversation. Exactly, you put the rules on first,、mm-hmm. and <laughs> that's the, the very you know to be in charge of of the call of the conversation. That's、yeah. the most important thing. Yeah, exactly. You should、sure. be guiding the conversation the whole time, like a straight line, pretty much, like Jordan Belfort would say. And the biggest thing too is like the more influence you get, the more authority you gain, the less that happens because people know, oh, this、yeah. person is a big time entrepreneur or business person. I know he won't go for that, or she won't go for that. Yeah,、so、they just think、less. if they can afford. <laughs>、mm-hmm. I mean, like because you put yourself out there like authority, like you you're aware of the price is gonna be higher, but、yeah. doesn't really matter if they solve you quick. The problems,、mm-hmm. quick. That's the thing, because、yeah. the, the busy people they usually、uh, they have no time. They're working and they want this. The problem is gonna be solved quick, quick as possible. And the bonus、mm. tip for that is what I also do is someone ask me for free stuff or free services. I've made probably two hundred videos on YouTube and Facebook and tons and tons of articles and books. So they want me free for me. Like, hey, I can't give you my services for free, but here's this video all about that topic. Yeah, Watch yeah, this is true. It. Yeah, you bring out there so much, and like,、uh, see this video. That's it. You、mm-hmm. don't need to waste my time. <laughs> yeah, because I already, I already give everything, all my knowledge. If you want to go deeper, know more, and be coached, you need the money because your time is not free. Yeah, exactly. The whole, huh? <laughs> so,、uh, Mike, another question. So, talking about because I'm the person who likes、uh, organic content.、Mm-hmm. How did you put?、Uh, who gonna be asking mostly for the like Facebook ads, like paid marketing? How did you deal with that? Did you do the、uh, organic content first? Or just straight away do the you know create the ads Facebook has or whatever it's paid. So it you know when they need when they need quick like for example we just talked about when they need a quick result、uh, and like if they want to advertise some of them they want to don't want to use like organic content、mm-hmm. so like I want to put on you know Facebook ads whatever. How much? <laughs> yeah. How did you deal with that? Because you know they are like, I want the result, and、we'll、you don't want to pay money. Yeah, but it does take time to, in the way, like, and you save money. So you no, know, because of organic content, you build、mm-hmm. authority. So、yeah. how did you deal with that? And how did you do it in general? Who are very very busy and need the results fast? Yeah. So it really depends on the person in the business. Let's say、mm-hmm. it's someone who's brand、yeah. new with no past client relationships. Don't do ads because you have no testimonials on there. That ad won't convert. It ads、yeah. make money. So like you don't want to waste your time by making an ad for a thousand dollars and have no one sign up because there's no testimonials behind it. But if you're somebody who you have clientele and have a list of good testimonials, make an ad and have the testimonials speak for itself. So for me, I like、mm-hmm. I do marketing. I help you scale your business, make live on your own terms, and have more income on your own time and freedom. Here's my testimonials. One person said I have five new clients in a week.、Uh, one person said I made ten times more money in the past six months with this person. They yeah, you know what know, you're gonna offer. Yeah, so they trust offer, you、yeah. already. But if you、yeah. don't have that testimonials, it won't help you. So if I'm trying to make money as quickly as possible with a new client. I'm gonna say let's do branding and organic content creation. That people know who you are, talk to you, see you as an authority figure in your field.、Mm-hmm. But then the biggest thing is you'll be booking sales calls every single day. You should be outreaching people all the time. And hey, I see you do X, Y, and Z. I love what you're doing. I can help you do even more. I'm gonna talk on the phone call real fast to see how I can help you. 
I mm-hmm. was booking one to ten sales calls every single day. And I was a brand new person, so all to focus on. So yeah, that's very good advice. You know, <laughs> like because it's really, really well answering the question. And I have so many like uh because I don't do paid. I know if you want to get more clients quick, it could work sometimes, but you probably pay a lot of money on that. Because it's not gonna be it's not especially when it's the high ticket, you know, like yeah. maybe for the easy sales like quick ones, uh Oh, I don't know. Could what what could be not expensive ones? You know, like uh, it it's okay to do some ads, but still, even that and people need to know, you know, like any credibility you have to mm-hmm. build. If they're gonna go and search for you online, and there's no information, they they're gonna think that yeah. if you're not online, people think you're not exist at all. Like oh, okay, scammer. <laughs> As, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's, that's what I want to say. Yes, so many people actually do that, like scamming. And, sp- and these days, uh, I've got like from the bank, uh, you know, so many like 10 ways to people were scammed mm. just recent days. Wow. Haven't been before. Yeah, you know, because they need money, people like in UK, yeah. So, I mean, not only UK, all over the world. Mm-hmm. You need money now because you cannot work. And the government giving money, you know, they're asking for the money. And they're like, some message like, oh, I actually got a message as well. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> like, uh, they're just asking for the confirmation. Click the link, this and that, and that's it. You're giving the, your details for your bank details or something, and you're going to be out of money. So talking about the content, uh, who knows? You're going to enter the details and you might lose the money. You know, like that's why people don't want to give that money to anybody. You have to build a trust Mm -hmm. and to show that you really, well, at least probably not an authority at first, but you're trying to give some valuable information and they want to see more of you. So, and that's why your images you post has to be very natural professional but not like stock images kind of thing Mm -hmm. (laughs) you know because anybody can take images from somebody else and use from one account so you know like and just use for uh, something they are trying to trick you know different uh, platform or something like that i mean so many ways so that's why you have to bring more images quality images um and content mm-hmm. anything you're gonna give and talk uh, and the content as well has to be written in um, uh, in the way like storytelling or that something close to you not very uh something dry they yeah, personal not very dry you know like oh this this and that sometimes it works but mm-hmm. it, it's very nice if you put a little bit of seasonings like yourself your personality <laughs> So yeah. it's really, really uh, like, oh, yeah. I, I, and you start to understand that person as well. You know, mm-hmm. when, when you read like, oh, I understand. I, you're trying to know that person. Yeah. So I know both ways. You can do without any personality and just like content because it really depends what you're telling. But because we do business with other people, mm-hmm. not brand or not like business so you need to connect with deeper level and really others gonna really appreciate that you're putting yourself into the content and you know that's very important yeah you're absolutely right about that like back in the day people would buy from you if they just knew about you but now they have to like you know you and trust you to buy from you you know buy from mm-hmm. they don't know who you are yeah so that's super, that's super a big powerful. thing. Mm-hmm. So what do you think is the best advice you can give somebody right now going through this crazy time so, you know, capitalize on this and stand out and, like, make their business expand? Um, so different for different kind of people, like, who, who is just starting a business? So, like, they cannot do their own business what they did before. And they want to start something else. So uh, 
think about something what you can what you could add and bring yourself out there give mm -hmm. the value you know and understand and uh, the, the content and then like ask others how you can help them and you'll see how your uh, personality and your knowledge could help uh, so another way for people who are bringing the businesses um, you know like for example um, restaurants you cannot like do the job as the way it was before I think the best way is to connect with someone that knows how to do it online and not mm. to waste much money because the, the business cannot stop and you're good at this you know like the business cannot stop they had to bring the money again and again and the best way is to save money to hire a professional yeah and yeah what other what kind of other businesses <laughs> Yeah, just whatever you do, if you're already doing, uh, if you're already having your business online, so bring more content and give the advice, the knowledge in any, any way, you know, like um, be out there and when everything's going to finish, you're going to be in front of these people. If you cannot serve them now, I mean, the business like photography, mm -hmm. you know, like literally you cannot take pictures uh so uh, or hairdressers that's a very big thing for them they cannot help others but yeah. if you're gonna be in front of people you're gonna help how to look after the hair they will probably be already in the queue mm -hmm. when everything gonna finish you know and uh, they're gonna help you if you're gonna be silent and they you know like don't do anything you're gonna be on holidays or something it's not really gonna work for you because yeah. i mean it's fine it's, it still could work but it's better to be in front mm -hmm. of your clients and they're gonna appreciate you yeah i definitely agree with you like for me you know, it can take years to build a big brand that's really respectable and have a lot of yeah. trust to it well, that brand can disappear in a matter of weeks or days even if you don't ask you yeah. engage with people say the wrong thing all that can go away so you're saying for it's super imperative to be making content and like for me my biggest thing i would tell people to do right now is to make content that pertains to what you do for me i do marketing so i talk about marketing all the time how people can start doing marketing how to do ads how to do content creation that way, mm -hmm. you can always stay in the forefront of people's minds. And yeah, that, that's impact. the person to connect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The exactly. people want to know that you're the ones there, even during the hard times. Because a true leader empower more people and have more leaders in their circle. And it'll help people become that leader themselves. So that's the biggest thing you want to do is make sure you're always out there providing so much value to people that when everything's good again, Oh, I want Eva. Eva is the best. I want her to help me because she's been there the whole time helping us this whole time it's going on. Yeah, that's so true. <laughs> <laughs> Be out there and in front of others, give the value and this is what you need to do. And if you don't know what to create, we are here to help. Yeah. You know, you know to give the ideas and what's working and what's not you know not to make too much mistakes or something or just follow others uh, what others do like so many live videos so many uh, um the most i think is the live videos and mm -hmm. uh yeah and it's almost like breaking the facebook <laughs> just follow others if you you don't want to ask help but this is like uh, you know it's gonna save you time if you're gonna ask help for professionals mm -hmm. because you need to sometimes have the money quickly you know in this yeah. case yeah quickly as possible booking tons of sales calls all the time that's the biggest thing i would focus on right now is booking sales calls making content and honestly right now like marketing is the most important thing you can do during these times because mm -hmm. how you stay afloat, how you get new clients, how you make sure you're staying apart from other people, and how you get more clients moving forward. It's all marketing. Yeah. And as content creation is also marketing. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not like simple, like I create content and then marketing. No, 
the one thing. It's marketing itself. It's mm-hmm. branding. Yeah. So what is one thing everyone should know to finish this off about marketing and branding? Um, yeah, we probably talked about it. <laughs> um, what's the one thing? The most important from all of it, yeah? Yeah, from everything you can think of, what is the most important thing to you about marketing and branding? I mean, the most important thing is to be yourself and uh, get out there. Mm-hmm. You know, when, I mean, get out to internet, <laughs> not <laughs> now in person, but like, and bring yourself. That's the most important thing. But of course, think what is, um, yeah, and another thing it's like, well, it's not one thing. <laughs> one thing is to be yourself and try uh, and help others, uh, but being yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Without a doubt. Still not. It's not one thing, but yeah, <laughs> you got like you have to be yourself, uh, and uh, you know your brand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you definitely lie about that. I think it is the fundamental, like, foundation to everything else. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Well, what I... about yeah? What about you? What about... is that? What do you think? That's the one thing. <sighs> I would say is probably, you know, being yourself for sure. But on top of that is just do it. Let's just start creating right now. That's what I was saying, Think being yourself, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. It's so easy to have that because, imposter syndrome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you're gonna... If you're gonna think it's not, oh, uh, it's... it's uh, I cannot do it because, you know, I already talked about that. You, every everything gonna stop you're not gonna start but then you you do it and you learn it's no mistakes i mean you learn from your mistakes yeah exactly the best way to that's experience is this practice and have experience like five years ago i was giving away my services for free and i was a challenge even to do it for free for people now i have packages that cost ten thousand dollars plus and people are buying it and if I would yeah. have never started, never been myself, and never create content, that never would have happened. So just put yeah. it out there as much as possible, like Eva said, and be yourself, and it's all going to come together eventually. It will. And um, be consistent as well. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's because I, when you mention it, if, if you... Uh, you it uh, takes time to build your brand, and if you're going to stop, Whatever you created before, before with whatever you had before, it can it can last. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you have to build it and be consistent, and not not only consistent like appearing online, but consistent with your message, uh, consistent what you passionate about. You know, uh, so people are gonna know this is your brand. This is you. Yeah. Exactly. And then, um, do you have any resources for people to use that you've made or can think of? And what can they find you at? So, uh, at the moment, uh, I am, I'm still building because it's something that I have to shift. Like for you, you already did that before. Uh, and for me, I am kind of building. I'm uh, working on the uh, workshop so we can create... Uh, we get into knowing your personal brand for people. They're going to know the personal brand and they will create the content. Mm. Uh, And then everything going to be done in one day and you can apply for your business. I think that's very good because you don't need to spend a lot of time thinking. Maybe maximum 10 people per day create the content uh, and you can, you know, schedule for maybe a week, a month, and you can concentrate on your business and what you do, or like mm-hmm. converting the clients. Uh, so I'm working on this, um, and um, probably if somebody would like to sign up and be for the beta group, so that would be a good idea. Uh, and they can go to my website. This is still photography side, but 
there is options to to sign up and connect with me it's your your brand story that code uk or my facebook eva rail so e v a r a l e awesome. and it's easy yeah and you're gonna be like because i'm gonna be working with them people at a time and give the most uh, yeah and this is the main thing but also not limited to like several sections you know like image like uh, coaching how to take the images uh also how to i can do images the ones gonna be converting for them mm -hmm. uh because as i said it's important and it's not easy for people to do something you know themselves especially when they are or sometimes they even have a yeah they have business outside the internet but yeah. you have to bring everything and like oh gosh so many things to do uh i mean there are so many things which is like um do it for you you know what mm -hmm. about you um so you, huh yeah are you planning something different or are you gonna keep the same uh you know for everybody that you're already doing yeah so it's a little bit of hybrid so right now i just finished my third book which is all about marketing it's literally how to post how to bring yourself what to say how to do copywriting the whole nine yards that's one thing i'm doing right now on a super big discount for people to have more value for them during these times but on mm -hmm. top of that i'm also making videos every single thursday at 3 p.m on youtube I'm also making a new course as well. I'm going to be walking you through the whole steps on marketing, branding yourself, getting exposure, and going from obscurity to authority by putting your brand into the spotlight. I'm working on that as well. And then I'm also working on my fourth book right now, too. So I have a lot of stuff <laughs> coming up. So definitely stay busy. tuned for that. Yeah, definitely trying to be busy as possible. And like, that's probably the biggest thing I would say to people right now. If you're not a business owner or you don't want to have a business, I would use this time right now to not even make content, but to learn new skills and to stay productive and busy as possible. That way you come out of this better than you started. Yeah, don't just have holidays. <laughs> yeah, don't just have holidays. And I know it's super tempting. terrifying right now and tempting. And, yeah. But even just learning who you are as a person or learning what you value, what you're grateful for is a, yeah, a huge improvement. Yourself. Yeah to be the biggest things and I will also have links down below for all Eva's stuff for website as well definitely talk to Eva she's an amazing <laughs> amazing woman I'm happy we had the conversation I'm happy I met you yeah. as well and as love always, the conversation yeah <laughs> <laughs> all fun. the marketing and branding stuff really love it same hill and as always you're all kings and queens abundance is your birthright and I don't care what no one tells you. You don't need permission or approval to start being yourself. To start putting yourself out there, start making content. You are more than enough right now in this very moment. You just have to decide for yourself. Love you all. I'll see you soon. Definitely will follow Eva. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.